it's your girl CG on trend and if you saw the title of this video then you already know that it's about to go down the wig that I have for you today is a wig that I have been waiting for this wig to become available to me um, but every time I went on every website it was sold out like I'm talking about like sold out like everywhere but I finally was able to get my hands on this unit and I got it from wig types so shout out to wig types for having this wig available for me but the funny thing about that is when I bought the wig I went back on the website and it said it was sold out again so I was like did I buy the last one but anyway I'm glad I did but I'm very tender headed and I do not like getting my hair braided. I used to get my hair braided all the time, but it was so very painful. So now I am going to try the most famous um, outright braided wig that we have been seeing on YouTube. Um, it's been everywhere. All of the big wig reviewers have reviewed this wig. So now I'm going to give it my little bitty old review. But y'all check it out and let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and like this video. Now let's talk about this braided wig this is the outright 13 by 4 lace frontal wig i really did want this color and i may try to continue my search to try to find one hopefully wig types will do what they did again and have this color available but i'm on the hunt for it if you find it leave me a description leave me a comment in the description down below let me know where you got it from because i want it um but here is what this it comes with the, this is a stock card um, and I mean, it comes with all the info on the inside, you know, a couple of styles that you can buy. It's the knotless braid. You can part it anywhere at the top. You get baby hairs, um, you know, and you don't have to go to the salon and get your hair braided, girl. So I'm all for that. So here is what she is looking like. Honey, 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 honey. I don't know how long she is going to be, honey, but I'm not mad. And the ends, y'all, I was looking at the ends. If you want to dip the ends, you probably can dip them in some hot water. Or if you want to maybe roll them with some um, setting rollers, you can probably do that too. Just to give this wig a little bit extra. But I plan to do a lot of things with this wig. Um, because I've been wanting to get my hands on a braided wig and it's summertime. And we want to be cute with our little braided wigs. So here's the cap construction. You get the uh, 13, which is around the perimeter. You get ear to ear lace. Um, you get a four inch parting space if y'all can see that you get the four inch parting space you get the you have two combs one on the right one on the left you also have the a comb in the nape area and you have the adjustable straps and you also have the elastic band and it's adjustable as well um, for a more secure hold now I'm not gonna tell you to go swimming in this wig but I mean, to each his own, if that's what you want to do, you go right ahead. But this is a nice vacation wig. I mean, if you just want to act like you're going swimming and just kind of play in the water, this is your friend. Let's go ahead and let's get into this installation. I'm going to start off with uh, my hair is slicked back as always, y'all. Um, and I have on a nude stocking cap. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Milani concealer. I'm sorry, Milani 2-in-1 um, Foundation Concealer in the number 10, Golden Tan. And I'm just going to put that at the top area just so that, you know, we can try to um, get that lace to blend as much as we can. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, because the lace is a bit, um, it's a little transparent, a little HD-ish. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tint that lace. I'm going to spray it. Um, with my um, even tinting spray just a little bit just to get you know make sure it doesn't come off all ashy and stuff so we're gonna do that next okay that is what the scalp is looking like after the tinting spray I'm gonna go ahead and get my blow dryer and go ahead and dry that a little bit okay now that I have uh, tinted the lace just a little bit as you can see if I put it on my arm you get you know you get a good little skin tone color so now let's go ahead and check out how these let's see i'm gonna leave it um on the ends and just to see if i need to tighten it anymore i'm gonna go ahead and try to make sure that my adjustable straps are where they need to be i 
Oh yeah, this unit is definitely going to be. Um, it's not tight. So if I want it a little bit tighter, I can definitely go in and and tighten those straps a little bit. So here's what it's looking like straight off of just straight on. This is what you're getting. You're getting all these luxurious baby hairs that uh, I'm gonna cut on down. I'm gonna cut them right on down. Um, and of course, even with the braided unit, Outre gives you this ear, this, 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 these ear tabs for days. Um, and like I told y'all, I do have a small head, so um, I don't want to cut any braids off. So I may have to uh, work with these with these long ear tabs uh, for this unit because I don't want to have to cut any of the braids off. Um, so I'll see how I'ma go ahead and cut that. So, but for right now we're just gonna leave it like that. I can actually make it a little bit tighter, um, just so that it kind of lays properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And then I'll tighten it and I'll come back and we'll get the lace cut off. Okay, I have her back on. Um, I tightened her up a little bit. So here's what you get. So these baby hairs though, are like they everywhere. I mean, they're so long, but here's what you see. You can clearly see a line of demarcation here with my stocking cap um, and the lace, but um, it doesn't bother me on the side here, um, but like right here, that may drive me a little bit insane. So I may try to get my foundation powder, um, once I, you know, comb the baby hairs and style it, style it like I want, um, to try and hide that. On the sides, it's not that bad though, because you do have a, a braid covering it, but it's just right here in the front. Um, so we'll try to see if we can hide that and disguise that so that y'all not all up in my business and it's not as clockable okay now that the lace is all cut off guys i'm going to go ahead and take these baby hairs down a notch and then we'll go ahead and glue this wig down thank you Aldrey, for thinking of thinking of us with, when you put all these baby hairs on this braided unit And just FYI, guys, on this side of the unit, I did have to go ahead and cut a braid out um, because the lace on the ear tab, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I do not like that behind my ear feeling. I like, because your hair does not like start like right behind your ear. So I don't really like that feeling um, of something being on my ear in the back. So I usually cut most of my wigs where, you know, you can't see that lace. So I did have to cut a braid out in order for I, for me not to feel that lace. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Even Wonder Lace Bond to go ahead and lock this down. So let's stay tuned. Okay, these baby hairs are still a bit much. So before I slick them down, I'm going to go in and trim them some more. Shout out to all my baby hair lovers. Uh, I mean, I'm a fan, but I mean, I'll trade is giving you, they giving you baby hairs for days, honey. So to style these baby hairs, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use the black got to be glue gel um you can always go in and pluck these baby hairs out you do not have to have all of these baby hairs so that's what i think i'm going to do because this is just it's just too many so i'm going to do that and i'll come back and show you how i pluck them okay ladies and gents i am back so what i did was i went and i cut all of the baby hairs off from the sides because i didn't really need those um i kept a little bit at the top i cut some out of the middle and you can as you go with this unit, you can cut the baby hairs as you see fit. I cut some from the sides and I just use the two little corners right here and the two little top. I am not a baby hair connoisseur. Um, I just do what I think looks okay on me. That being said, this is what we get. Um, I also went in to clean up all of that um this Wonder Bond lace is, it's kind of sticky. So you may want to like do your makeup after you apply this wig. 
lesson learned. Um, so it may look like I don't have any makeup in certain areas. That's because I went in and I washed the area where um, the even lace and the um, gotta be mixed together and created a funky mess. But other than that, I do like um, how it is laying right now. I will go in later and uh, tie it down with the elastic band as I sleep because I'm not taking this wig off tonight. Um, so I'm just going to put it all in the bonnet and wake up in the morning and go. So basically, um, here's the finished product where you get, um, you get, before I actually finish, I'm going to go in with my uh, Fit Me powder in the color 360. And I'm just going to go and touch up the lace in the front here. Um, just because it's not as transparent as I would like it to be. This is what she's looking like. So you can wear her as a middle part. Um, you know, you can take her if you are a side part wearer. You can definitely take her to the right side. You can even pull more over because like I said, you get um, four inches of parting space. You may want to train the braids. So if you want to wear it like this, I would like clip a bobby pin right here. Um, just so that, you know, it will stay, it will stay in place. You can definitely also, you know, take this middle section back and wear her like this. Maybe put this part in a little pony. Here we are. Let's do that. Just a cute little, you know, braided top knot. Y'all get it. Y'all get what's happening. Boom. You got that. Okay. And then you can also, um, like I said, carry everything over to the left side. If you're a left side part wearer. But, you know, if you like your parts on the right, I mean, um, you can take all the hair to the left. And still, you'll have to train that braid, you know, tie it down, um, clip it to where it doesn't, you know, it doesn't move. But... For the most part, this unit is um, very, very cute, very affordable. I paid $94.94 for this on wig tights. I like having braids, but I just don't like the process of getting braids. So you can definitely, you know, rock this this hairstyle any way, any way that you like. I think it is very, very flexible. Um, you can even do something like this if you like. I mean, even this is cute. And y'all get my drift. Y'all know where I'm going. Uh, of course, if I was going somewhere, this would be a lot neater and I would take my time. But I'm not going nowhere right now. Okay. If you wanted to wear them all up, like say for instance, you, I mean, you know, if you want to be real, real boho chic, you can do something cute like this. Y'all get my drift. This is not, it would not look like this, but y'all get my drift. But if you wanted to kind of wear them all up in like a little maybe a, a top knot or something. You can definitely rock it with a headband. And I'm gonna show you that really quick before I say my final say. And I'll put these all over so y'all can see. But if you wanted that big, big bun look at the top, I don't see why you couldn't do it with your braided wig. Putting it in like a little bun at the top. Um, our cute little little top. You can probably wear it in a ponytail too. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But like, if you wanted to wear it in a a messy bun, a big old messy bun, you could probably do this too. So, of course, you would fix you would fix your headband properly. You wouldn't just be letting letting it be all ugly, all fugly. And you would make your braids, you know, fit underneath the headband and, you know, fix your ears. But y'all get my point. You can definitely do something like this. Take a scarf, maybe wrap it around. Whatever. But I feel like you can style this um, any kind of way. And I will show you what it looks like in the back. I don't know. So y'all let me know down in the comment section. Um if it was okay because when I look back at this video I'll be able to tell if it was okay or not
but just for the sake of showing you what you can do with it that's what this is so i'm going to turn around um so here so see you can cover the back up and actually wear it up you know like if you had if you were to have you know regular individual braids but let me know what you think about this unit <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and leave this up because i'm gonna take some pictures as well um to post to my instagram page so go ahead and follow me over on cg on trend um on instagram if you have not already done so um and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about this 13 by 4 brady wig by outright outright gives us a banger every time and i think this is a banger banger so if you don't like the headache of getting your hair braided definitely seek out a braided wig for your pleasure that being said cg on trend is signing out bye guys see you in my next video